And a quick, quick tip, and I'm gonna show you here in a second. These actually cheap gel batteries, you can rehydrate them. It's actually not that difficult at all. They have a little sliding piece of plastic right here, which I'll show you in a second. It slides off sideways and it gives you access to the little rubber pieces. All right, before I pull the battery out, the first thing you wanna do is get something as simple as a barbecue injector. Um, this is about, I would say, about the easiest way to do it. And all you need to do is take some tape and tape around the second hole to where you only have the one hole showing. And so, you know, there's no possibility for any kind of a, an arc or discharge or anything like that and show you how to get this plastic piece off. Some of them are glued on, some of them aren't. But we'll get this wrapped up and I'll put on a glove. And yes, I got safety glasses. So if it blows up, I'll only look like, you know, half a Freddy Krueger. Okay, generally motorcycle batteries, some of them are mounted, some of them aren't. Mine just lays in here. But there we go. There we go. Okay, and another really, really big tip. You see how that rubber, rubber piece came off? Do not lose these. Because if you lose one, you might as well toss the battery because there's just no replacing these little rubber pieces. So you wanna do this one at a time. And whenever you're rehydrating it, um, use distilled water. Don't think your, your beans, don't overthink this whenever you do it. Do not go to like, you know, a battery's place and put sulfuric acid back in it because all you're doing is concentrating what's already in there. You just want to rehydrate the battery. This is about the only way to do it. Like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying not to put a whole heck of a lot of extra, you know, extra liquid in it. You go slow because you don't want it to, you don't want it to spurt back out. You you put it on a trickle charger. You know, less than two amps, and don't fill it up to the top. Just just fill it up with you know, a few ounces. Don't let it shoot out of the top because this does this will turn to gel and you need to give the gel time to expand and fill it back up. You can always put a little bit more in later after you've done this. And that's, that, that's how you rehydrate uh, these gel batteries. Make sure you don't lose those caps. Here we go. It wants to go on one way. Okay, it only wants to slide out that way. But that is that is it. Um, and you've put a little bit of water in it. It's rehydrated. I'm gonna put this on my trickle charger and top off the battery um, while I do the seat. And that's it's not that it's not that difficult. And as far as this little slide, um, no, I am not exactly sure. I can't remember if this was glued or not, if I had to break it free, I'm not sure, but this will come free. And do not lose the little rubber stoppers. Do one cell at the time and put the rubber stopper back on it. And another little tip about trickle chargers is always Plug it in first. Don't plug it into your machine. And then plug in the, the trickle charger. Um, if you've got, you know, say you've got one machine and you've always got a trickle charger. Um, plug in the trickle charger first. 
because from, I guess, what little bit of research I did, if you do the opposite, if you tr plug in the trickle charger to your bike and then you plug it into the socket, it stays in some kind of safety mode. So plug this in before you plug it into your machine. All right, after a, after a quick look and a quick shake, this is actually full of water. All the cells, all the cells are full of water, so I don't have to worry about uh, rehydrating this one. That one, my, my motorcycle needed quite a bit of uh, a fluid, so that one I'm glad I I took apart and and put a little bit of distilled water in it. I probably and also, with the gel batteries, you may have to, I wouldn't say break, but persuade the top plastic piece to come off so you can get access to the little fill ports. But if you have to do that, I would take the battery completely out of the machine, goggles, gloves, get a really, really small screwdriver, and just pry along the edges but that clear piece will come off the top. There, there is access to it. You just have to make access for it. And prepare to have to replace the whole battery if you need to. But it's worth trying to, to put a little bit of water and rehydrate the battery. And you'll be surprised. It'll, it'll, it'll come right back unless it's just completely dried out to nothing. Then you're probably going to have to get another one. But don't let them, you know... Don't let them tell you you can't put water in them. Just don't fill it up to the very brim to the top. You don't have to put that much water in the gel batteries. And that's the way I, you know, that's, that's the way I do it. Right or wrong, they, they recharge, they rehydrate, they work fine. And I've been able to get many, many seasons out of these batteries by, by by putting water back in them. Thank you for those who have joined and subscribed to the Swamp Fox family. If you can give me a thumbs up, comment in the description, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, please look for the links in the description. Become a Patreon member if you want to support the channel.